everyone, my name is Aleste or Ellie if you'd rather and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a speed build of London slash Privet Drive. If you haven't already it would be really awesome if you could check out my first few videos of this island on my channel just so you can have a look, see what I've done so far. I will be linking the playlist down below though and at the end of the video. This is going to be another speed build so please feel free to load the game up, grab a blanket, put some fuzzy socks on, get yourself a hot chocolate or all of the above and just relax. I hope you guys like what I've done and let's get started.
Hey, so that was a speed build of Private Drive in London. I really hope that you liked what I've done. A lot of work has gone into these locations. I was struggling to figure out the layouts and everything, but I really think it came together and I'm so happy to be sharing this journey with you all. There's a couple of things you haven't seen yet. I did do some of the interiors of the houses, so Lopez and Silvana, and I have made Silvana number four Privet Drive, as you've seen by the owls and things throughout the progress. I also made all the exteriors on the lower level of houses all matching, just to keep it all cohesive. So you guys haven't seen that, but I will be showing you guys throughout the tour at the end here. Anyways, with all that said and done, let's get started with the actual tour now. So to begin with you come out through the leaky cauldron towards the left and then you enter into quote unquote London. Obviously it's not London but here's just a little flower market area that I created just to fill in that empty space really. So you can see I just use a lot of the floral items and garden items so just some barrels, some of the plants, garden wagons. Um, I use the gnomes as well and just a lot of flowers really just to give it that whole vibe that you're in a little stall. Moving on we make our way down the street under the pergola and then onto the beach. This was a lot of going back and forth um, you could probably see from the initial start of the video in this area I had a lot of the tables with the brollies on top but I didn't like it so I changed it to this and I got this cute custom design code for the floor. Put a lot of weeds around and just filled it with cushions and just like a seating area as though someone's having like a birthday party or something on the beach. Not very Harry Potter related but I thought it was still a cute idea to pop in just to give it that city like feel. Then we wake our way to the canal. I wasn't sure on this when I first did it but now I'm so much happier with it. You can see from the view it's very cute and it just gives it that little bit of perspective. But then if we make our way further down we enter to Privet Drive finally. As you can see from this, you can tell that the house exterior has been altered. I have the motorbike and the owls all around it. And then I also put a little cat bed at the front just to make it look like the baby basket that Harry's in in the initial film and book. Just made the garden very simple as well and just popped a little bird fountain there too. Going inside, you can see it's meant to be the Dursley's house. And of course, I put too many items in, so now Sylvana is stuck did not think this one through but we move I guess but yeah you can see I've got Harry's room at the right there just separated by the extra walls and a little shelf with the wooden gaps in between them I use a lot of the elegant items just to make it feel a little bit more old-fashioned you can see as well I've used the old-fashioned TV on the table there and I've used a stack of presents for Dursley and as well I've popped a little bit of jelly on the kitchen counter there just because the shape of it reminded me of the cakes more than the actual cakes in this game but yeah I wanted Harry's to feel quite close in so I made it as small as I could while still adding the items and I used a lot of reference pictures to try to get it to have the same feel as a Dursley's house and I think I pulled it off let me know what you think Yeah, that was number four Privet Drive, just a Sylvanas house and I just tried to match it up as close as I could. Moving further along, it's just a little bit more of Privet Drive really, just with the cohesive housing for Lopez and Deirdre that I have there, just some cars and things, just to make it feel like it's alive, you know, that there's actually people living there. Moving upwards we have a little stall area which I'm not happy with but I wasn't sure what else to do so if you have any ideas on what I can do there instead please let me know I would really appreciate it. But moving further up into the rest of the residential area this is just the rest of the animals and their housing. I've decided not to change the exterior of the houses I don't think I just feel like it's nice to have just a little bit of variation don't want everything to be too much the same and also this is not on Privet Drive so it could be a completely different community really 
but yeah I've just made it into like a little mini street with a little centerpiece with some chairs and things just for a communal area and just lots of bikes and flowers and a picnic spot. And then as we go further right, Poppy's house is up on the top there and then I've just got a lot of flowers and waterfalls and terraforming just to give it a bit more of a natural feel. But then we just have Nook's Cranny and that's just very simple. The background of it's not done yet, I'm not there, but we'll get to that point soon enough. And then coming down the stairs, we just have the little car pack, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before, just with a little tribute to the Weasley's car there, just as the blue one at the right. And But yeah, that's pretty much the final build for Privet Drive in London so far. I am going to be working on Hogwarts and the rest of the castle grounds and things like that later on. So if you have any ideas of what I could build on this island, please let me know. Any ideas would be appreciated. But I do hope that you liked the video, if, feel free to like and comment and subscribe if you do, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!